Let's return to sport now. Here's Caroline. Thanks very much, Juliet. Let's start with football tonight. Hearts interim manager Gary Locke has admitted he is interested in the top job at Tynecastle on a permanent basis. John McGlynn, of course, left Hearts by mutual consent yesterday with the Edinburgh club second bottom off the SPL table. Meanwhile, Andy Webster says the players have taken responsibility for McGlynn's departure but are backing Locke to replace him. He's no stranger to the revolving door at Tynecastle. Perhaps surprising then that Gary Locke is interested in the top job himself. He's been handed the reins in the interim alongside player development coach Darren Murray after John McGlynn parted company with the club. I don't think I really need to apply. You know I'm here, they know I'm here, they know what I'm capable of. You know I've got all the, the, the licences, as I say. You know, they're, they're talking to candidates as far as, as far as I'm led to believe. If they think that I'm the man for the job, great. If not, you know... Who knows what will happen, but as I say, my only focus is, is Saturday's game against Motherwell. McGlynn was the 10th full-time manager under the Vladimir Romanov regime, but Locke denies the job is a poison chalice. In fact, he believes it will be the dream job for number 11, whoever that may be. If you look at the amount of you know, fantastic people out there that are out of work, I'm pretty sure that an, an opportunity to manage Hart and Midlothian would be, would be up there. It's a, a magnificent football club with an unbelievable history and it's, a, it's a, fat a fantastic job and you know I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that are looking to, to, to come in here. Having spent nine years on the field for Hearts and nearly four years in the dugout, the players insist they would have no trouble getting behind the man they call Lockie. That's a decision for the board to take. Um, you know, Lockie knows what it means to this football club um, as a player and as a coach. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, that you know the boys will be will be right behind them. This weekend Hearts have a job to do. Defeat to St Mirren saw them slip to second bottom in the league table, and after the victory over Celtic, Locke is all too aware that Motherwell are riding high. They were magnificent and you know I've got a lot of respect for Stuart McCall and Kenny Black. They've done a fantastic job there. We know that it's, it's going to be a very tough game, but as I say we're just focused on ourselves and hopefully we've got players that can cause them a few problems and get the right result.